Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Windows 10 computer and you want to know how to uninstall your latest update. The reason why you want to probably do that is maybe you have an issue, maybe you can't log into Windows itself or you have other issues. It's very, very simple to do and we don't actually have to log in. You can see right here, I'm in my login screen. I don't have to log in, okay? What we can simply do is if you look down here, you can see the power button here. So there's two things that I want you to do. I want you to press and hold down the shift key and also I want you to go down here on the bottom right hand side. Let me go ahead and click on that and we see the restart button right here. Okay, so what I want you to do is go ahead and hold down the shift key right here and at the same time I want you to go ahead and click on this restart. So I'm gonna right now I'm gonna hold down the shift key. It's held down and then you see the restart right here. I'm gonna go ahead and press on restart right now with my mouse pad. And now I'm still holding down the shift key and I'm going to continue to hold down my shift key until I get this advanced options boot up menu right here. Okay, now we're in business. Perfect. Now from here, what you got to do is click on troubleshoot right there. Tap on troubleshoot. And then from here, we're going to go down to advanced options right here. Tap on that. And now if you look right here, it says go back to previous version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So it gives a while to boot back up. And now it says go back to previous version. So I'll go ahead and choose my account name here. I'll put in my password. And now it says here, go back to previous version. If you are running into problems with your current versions of Windows, going back to a previous version might fix them. This won't affect your personal files, but you will lose any changes you made to apps and settings since your most recent update. So again, it says right here, go back to previous version. I'm not going to go back to the previous version of this computer because I don't have an issue. However, what you want to do is click that and then you want to wait for it to uninstall. It may take 20, 30 minutes. Give it a while and hopefully your computer is back up, uh, back up and running. So that's pretty much it. Hope that helped you guys out. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Any questions, uh, just comment below and I'll try to help you guys out if you have any issues with your uh, Windows 10 computer. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.